How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire 5th gen tablet and it's very simple. So basically come right here to rootjunkiesdl.com and download this Amazon Fire 5th gen install Play Store zip. Okay, You click on that, download it to your computer. If you're having trouble with your drivers installing automatically, which normally they do, um, come over here to this and click on the Kindle Fire HD and click on the drivers right there. Both these things will be linked in the video description down below, so you'll be able to find them easily if you can't find them here on the site very simply. So once we've done that, we're going to come down here and here is the zip that we downloaded. We've extracted it to right here and you just open up the extracted zip and normally extract your desktop that seems to work the best and then basically what you're going to do is just run the batch file so double click on it and what it's going to do is it's going to give you directions on how to set this up so it says you need to turn on adb debugging on your device to get this to install all of the applications we need for the play store so let's go over to my device here and go into settings go into device options and here you're going to see your serial number. Go ahead and click on your serial number about seven to ten times. And below it, you're going to pop up uh, developer options. So go into developer options. And right here, it should say enable ADB. Go ahead and make sure it's checked. Mine is already checked. So then you're going to take your cable and you're going to go ahead and plug it into the device here. There we go. Now, once you plug it in, it's going to install some drivers, and you might get a pop-up. You should get a pop-up here saying to allow ADB debugging from your computer. Make sure you check always and then hit allow. That's going to pop up on your device. If it does not pop up, toggle AD, uh, enable ADB on and off a couple times until you get it to pop up. That's very important for this to function correctly. Okay. You can see I've already installed some Google applications because I've done this before, but you can see that there's no Play Store on it right at this moment. Okay, those are all my applications. All right, so from here, we've done all the prerequisites, and my drivers have actually already installed, so we're not we're good there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press any key on the keyboard to continue. And basically, it has to install four applications. So right now, it's installing the first application, and it not only has to install the applications, but it has to set a permissions across the board on some of the applications that you're installing for it to function correctly. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen is you'll go ahead and do this, and it just those those applications will like force close, and there'll be problems on them. So the first one is just about installed, which is one of the uh, important ones. That's actually the one I think you have to set the permissions on, which I do here automatically in the script. So let's wait till it goes. There it goes successful. You can see that it's installing application two of four. That was successful. Now it's three of four, and that was successful. And this last one is the biggest application, which I think is actually the Play Store, and it takes a little bit longer to install. But as soon as it's done, you're pretty much done with the process, which is just really awesome. It's very simple, and it's all automated. The last thing you got to do once this process is done, it says, please reboot the device. I'm actually not going to do this right this minute. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue, and it's going to close it out. You're done. Now if we shoot to my device right here, you can scroll down and see that you have the Play Store. If you click on the Play Store, add an account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just show you Play Store is functional. All right, so here you go. One of the first things it's always going to ask you to tell you to update is your Google Play services. So make sure you update. You should probably get a pop-up along the top here telling you to update the Google Play services. Yeah, so... That will pop up just swipe down and click on the link and it'll bring you right to the google play services but pretty much what you've got those let's go back into it you're pretty much rocking so here you can see it's the play store uh you go to applications and you know download whatever you want games top free you know whatever's netflix all your good stuff pretty much anything you want um most applications are supported with it and it's really working good so you can see a lot of the google applications i went ahead and installed most of them uh, just because i'm so ingrained into that infrastructure that i really like it there's uh, google settings and stuff like that give her that silk browser and use chrome so well there you go that is the process it's very simple to install um the 
Google Play Store on the device with this little script that I whipped together. Do want to give a quick shout out to um, SD Shadow from XDA, buddy of mine who actually brought this to my attention and then I just wrote the script to make it easier. I'll link you to his thread in the video description down below. And that's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. When we have a root method, I'm sure I'll be covering that as well. Hopefully that will happen soon. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.